Are there different kinds of data out there that we're just not leveraging? Sets of technologies that understand audio or that can read a tweet. We often find in healthcare organizations that there is not a deficiency of data. It's everywhere. The problem is getting it together and actually using it to detect patterns. Is there a situation where data is coming in extremely quickly and we would benefit a lot from understanding it in real time? Technology is there to help humans, both those that have to provide the services to the patient as well as the patient themselves with wearables. Healthcare organizations need to focus their technology investments to do that. In 2020, one of the important things that a healthcare enterprise really needs to focus on is understanding their customers. A healthcare organization needs to appear as a single entity to the customer. So when the customer looks at a healthcare organization, they don't need to feel that, well, I just did something with this part of the organization. It should be all as one. Patient of 2020, one of the things is the ability to see where I'm at in all of this process. If I sent in some blood work to get tests, knowing exactly when my results are going to come, where they're at, having visibility to where the hospitals are, what the wait time is in ER. Visibility or transparency to operations, to my status, to the services that I'm receiving, to the cost that I'm spending to get those services. So instead of me coming in when I'm sick, what are those things that I should be doing to avoid getting sick? And how is my healthcare provider helping me do that? Really a proactive relationship between the healthcare institution and yourself. Wearables, things like Fitbit and Nike Fuel Band or Nike Plus, the ability to monitor essentially metrics about yourself. And then you move into specifically the healthcare arena and all of a sudden you're able to do these things remotely, away from the healthcare facility, in your home, out in the field, really in any number of places. You're helping the consumer be healthy before they actually need to come in, which of course everybody wins. At the end of the day, healthcare doesn't change from the outcome standpoint. But the speed at which we do it, where we do it, how effective it actually is, those are the kinds of things in the background that will change.